He put air back in. Okay. So right now what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to turn this on. See how there's oil in this? This device is a little bit faulty. So the oil will get sucked into the machine. I'm just running the oil out so that it'll work the next time. So let's talk about what happened though. Okay? If you could stand over here. We're going to pretend that he's the balloon. Okay? Oh. And we're going to pretend that I am the air inside of the chamber. Okay? So right before we turn on the device, right? Before we turned on the device, we had a certain amount of pressure that was holding the balloon together. 15 pounds per square inch holding this balloon in its shape. And there's air inside this balloon, but not very much. So you're the balloon. Go ahead and push on my hand as hard as you want. Now right now, he's the balloon and he's trying to get bigger. This balloon is actually trying to get bigger. The air's trying to get out of this balloon, but it can't because the air pressure is me, 15 pounds per square inch pushing the of that balloon. Now what happened, what happened when we took the air out of the vacuum chamber? When we took the air out of the vacuum chamber, that 15 pounds per square inch got smaller and the balloon was able to get larger, right? But then when we let the air back in, when we let the air back in, then the balloon got smaller again. You guys see what happens there? <laughs> no. Air pressure versus balloon air. Okay, thank you very much. Let's give you a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, all right. So, can you guys write down your conclusions?